Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Avery. Please subscribe to see all my latest videos. Um, I am a influencer, blogger, whatever you call it, living in New York City um, and just sharing my life here on YouTube and on Instagram. So welcome. Um, I just moved into a new apartment in New York City in the financial district literally this weekend. It's Monday. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a super quick tour. This weekend was literally insane with moving, but we hired movers, so thank God that was at least nice to have. Um, but just, you know, unpacking and getting everything organized was just a lot. I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of what we have so far. Not everything's here yet. We're still waiting on a few pieces. I'm still figuring out how I want to decorate my room and kind of organize everything because it's definitely small. But yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a quick little tour. Um, and yeah, it's Monday morning start of a new week. I just got in a really good workout. I'm one of the things I'm loving about this apartment is the gym. Um, I'll have to do a little tour for you guys, but it's just so nice to be able to go up there and like actually have machines to use. Our last apartment had a gym, but just not nearly as big. It had like three things and the treadmill was never working. That was like the only exercise thing in there basically. So yeah, I'll do a little apartment tour super quick. Okay, so I know I definitely showed you guys the hallway already, so I'll just skip that, but this is our little entryway table. We're still trying to get it all put together and have different like, um, you know, decor on here and stuff. Um, but we got this off Facebook Marketplace for like 70 bucks. So a good steal. And then this is my black mirror from Amazon that I can link if you guys want it. But I'll put it on my Amazon, um, or it is on my Amazon storefront page and the link is in the caption below so yeah I love this it's huge pretty easy to hang honestly um then this is our bathroom pretty big bathroom so that's super nice just you know regular or whatever please ignore my clothes and drying rack right here but the hallway is super big which is nice and then we have a huge kitchen which is such a change from our last apartment so this is super nice has a huge dishwasher the only con is that we don't have a stove so or an oven I'm sorry yeah an oven so that's the only thing but honestly I can live without it and then I just made my little Nespresso here which I haven't had pods in so long so I've been loving having these again um but yeah this is our little kitchen the little chandelier right here which I honestly kind of hate but whatever um, and then this is our main living room. Both of our closets are out here. Um, so they're not in our rooms. This is my side of the closet. I don't have any hanging space. So I just have all of my stuff like folded up and then I have some jackets hanging on the back. This is just how I have it for now. I don't know if I'll like change the way I have everything organized, but I just have like jeans stacked, trousers. I have like my sleep stuff, my workout stuff in there, a ton of shoes, obviously. So sweatshirts and sweaters up top. So we'll see how I like it, but it's definitely not the best organization, but it is what it is. Um, our little mirror. This is the dresser that was actually in my room um, last year. And now we just are using it as a TV stand. Our rug, I actually just got this little clear glass coffee table off Amazon, which is also linked on my Amazon storefront page and love it. I feel like since it's clear and it's glass, it makes the space look bigger. Whereas if we had like a wood table or something, it wouldn't look as good. Then we also got a new couch off Facebook Marketplace too. Had the tags on it and everything already. It's super comfy, love it. Just love the neutral color of it too. And then we actually hanged all of our artwork yesterday. So that's all up and good. Then we have over here, just this little corner, little end table from our last apartment, chair from our last apartment. We just got this new leather stool from Target. And I also just got this basket from Target to put like blankets and stuff in and also to hide like the Wi-Fi stuff back there. And then this is my room. So it's a T-flex wall. So obviously it has like the space above and we're gonna hire someone I think to fill in the space because it's just, you can hear everything. Um, but this is my room. You can see my little, work set up because I'm about to start work today. Um, I have a little meal tray from Amazon that I use, but yeah, I mean, it's small, but it's cute. I just got this little mirror off Amazon, which I really like, um, which I'll also have linked. And then I just have my little nightstand, my bed. I have some artwork, like just like leaning up against the windows. I actually just got a TV for the first time since I've lived in New York in my room, obviously, which I've been loving. And then we have these built-in bookshelves, which are super nice. Um, and so I'm still trying to figure out how I want to like arrange them and like have the decor, but I like how it is right now. Um, and then, yeah, then I just have this little bit of space 
and my clothing rack and the clothes are definitely an issue i like don't know what to do with all my clothes but for now this is just what's gonna happen and then i have my blazers hanging from hooks up top because they were like really weighing down the clothing rack but yeah that's pretty much the tour you guys Hi guys, so I'm meal prepping like a lunch dinner option for this week and I thought I would show you guys what I'm making. I actually saw it, um, this recipe on here on TikTok, so I'll try to tag the person if I can remember who it was, but it's basically just like a chickpea, kind of like a faux tuna salad, but with chickpeas, and I'm going to put it in like little lettuce wraps and have it for lunch or dinner. So first up, I just took two cans of organic garbanzo, like chickpea beans, and I just rinsed them and drained them and then I mashed them all up together. So we're just gonna put that all in the bowl. I may have made too much, honestly. You might have only wanted to do one can, but I'm hoping this lasts me a while and doesn't go bad. So I didn't just waste like two whole cans of garbanzo beans. Um, and then I'm gonna do pretty much the rest of this thing of fat-free feta. It's about half the container that's left. So I'm just gonna toss all that in there. Then I'm also gonna add some red onions. I probably won't do the whole container. These are already like pre-diced ones. I'm just gonna do like half maybe. Yeah. And then that's pretty much all you need other than seasonings and like kind of like a sauce to mix in. So you can kind of choose what you want, but um, I'm gonna do a little bit of Dijon mustard. I'm not measuring anything, so hopefully this tastes okay, but you can always do a taste test and then add more. I'm just gonna do a spoonful of Dijon mustard. I feel like I might want a little bit more than that. And then she didn't do this in her video. She used mayo, but I don't have any mayo and I don't really like mayo. So I'm gonna use Greek yogurt because I know that Greek yogurt can be a substitute for it anyways. Um, but I'm gonna get a new spoon because I don't wanna add my Dijon mustard in my Greek yogurt. So anyways, I'm just gonna take like another spoonful or two of this. Hopefully that's fine. And then I'm gonna add some garlic salt. Yeah, a lot of it. And then just some pepper. I also have some smoked paprika that if I don't like how this ends up tasting, I might add um, that to it. But like I said, you could add whatever seasonings you want, but I feel like salt and pepper, I don't know, I don't like getting very crazy with my seasonings. So yeah, I'm gonna mix this all together. She said it's better the longer it sits in the fridge. So I'm gonna let it sit in the fridge overnight and then have it for lunch tomorrow. So yeah, that's my recipe. Super easy and like healthy, quick good lunch to have. I feel like you get like your carb, protein, you know, you get it all. So I hope you guys try it and like it. Also wanted to quickly share about two supplements I've been loving from Bloom Nutrition. Um, I've had this for a while, but I wasn't like consistently using it. It's their pre-workout in guava. And I don't know, I just really like it. Before this, I was drinking coffee before my workouts and I feel like it's just making me like way too hyped up. This is obviously still pre-workout, so it gives you like caffeine and energy, but I just feel like it doesn't make me feel like crazy like coffee would and this is their greens and superfood i've bought this like four times now i think it just really helps with digestion um has pre and probiotics in it uh, this is the mixed berry flavor but i think i like the citrus one better um and yeah it just has a bunch of like really great ingredients for you um helps with bloat energy has like green superfoods in it and yeah i just use these and then i mix them in water and honestly i just chug the greens one because the flavor's not bad, but I just don't like sipping on it. So I just like mix it up really quick and chug it. And yeah, I love both of these a lot. And then also when I drink my greens that I just showed in the morning, I will add two scoops of this in. It's L-glutamine. I've heard a lot about this um, just with like doing research on um, like vitamins and essential like nutrients that we need. Also, I have like kind of bad digestion and stomach issues. So I've been trying this. I just mix it with my greens. I do two scoops um, in the morning and I just mix it all in with water and just like I said, chug it. But honestly, I feel like the duo has definitely been helping. I've only been doing it for like two weeks or so, so can't really tell yet. But um, I know this is supposed to be really good for you anyways. And it's a really good amino acid um, that your body needs. So yeah, I've also been doing that. This is also linked on my Amazon storefront page. Hey guys, so it's Monday. I just got off work. I showed you guys the apartment earlier, um, but I've literally been inside all day long, so I wanted to go on a walk and kind of explore the neighborhood a little bit. So I just walked through Seaport, went on the water um, right by like the Brooklyn Bridge view where like Industry Kitchen is and a bunch of really like pretty scenic places. They also have a new um, bar over there. Um, it's like a Dante Negroni bar, which they already have a Dante restaurant in West Village, but I guess it's just like a 
cocktail bar that they just opened up. So thinking about trying to go there for happy hour sometime this week um, with my friend Julia. So if I do, I will bring you guys along, but just wanted to give you a little update, just gain some fresh air, even though it's literally 90 degrees out. So it's literally so freaking hot out. Um, but just trying to get my 10K steps in. Hey guys, just got home from work a little bit ago. And honestly, I was just feeling so like tired and drained. And you know, when you like get home from something, I feel like I'm like you're stressed out. I just started like snacking, eating, so I was like so hungry feeling. So I decided to do like a little 20 minute um, yoga video because I didn't really work out today. I just went on a long walk before work. Um, I did a yoga with Adrian, like 20 minute just flow. And then I kind of also just did my own thing. But it just, I feel so much better already, I feel like. I just needed like something to like calm me down and relax me, I feel like. So now I think I'm gonna actually make dinner and then just chill the rest of the night. I don't know what it is, but I've just been so tired on the weeknights and I think it's because I'm going back in the office full time three days a week and it's just like catching up to me. I'm not used to being in the office that long. So yeah, I don't know what it is, but I'm just like literally so tired every single night and I don't know, I need to get used to it. But anyways, I think I'm gonna make salmon with like basmati rice and veggies for dinner. But I also meal prepped this like chickpea salad thing. So I feel like I should eat that, but it just doesn't sound like what I want right now. So I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Um, it has been the longest day, just the longest week, honestly. Um, today I was just in vendor meetings from like 1 to 4.30 or 1 to 5.30 until I left to go home. So it's just a long day, but I just got home, made dinner. Um, now I'm just sitting here. I showered, I self-tanned, and I'm watching Love Island. I'm on season eight. I don't think I'm caught up completely. Well, I'm definitely not caught up, but I just saw the drama between Ek and Sue and Davide. So if you guys are watching or caught up, let me know what you think in the comments, but just wanted to hop on and say hi. I kind of realized I just jumped into doing YouTube without doing like a little introduction or anything. So I thought maybe I'd just start off saying like a few random things about me. And then maybe later on we can do like a little Q&A over on Instagram. And also you guys can leave comments of any questions you want to ask me. And I'll do like a whole Q&A just like um, video or something. But just like a quick rundown, I'm 25 years old, living in New York City. I've lived in the city for three years, actually this week. Oh, that's so weird, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I moved here three a week, three years ago, like last week. But um, yeah, I'm from Kansas City originally. I went to college there, moved out to the city um, like the summer after I graduated college and have been here ever since. I love it here. I am an assistant buyer. I buy men's shoes for an off-price retailer. Um, and yeah, I just moved to the financial district. Before this, I lived in Lower East Side. And then the first year I moved here, the same year that like COVID happened, I lived in Brooklyn, but honestly I only lived in that apartment for like eight months out of the year because I moved home for four months during COVID. So that's kind of my New York story. I've worked for the same company pretty much the entire time I've been here. And yeah, that's really it. I'm basically an only child. I have a little brother who you guys saw in my first video who is who just turned 11 years old. So we're 14 years apart, but that's the only sibling I have. Um, what else can I tell you guys? I majored in business and French in school. I went to a French immersion school, kindergarten through eighth grade. So I'm fluent in French. Um, have really not used it ever since graduating but I did major in it and I love the culture and everything I'm actually going to Paris in three weeks so I will definitely be uploading a Paris vlog soon um this is my third time going to Paris actually but the first two times I was only there for like two days and I feel like I barely got to see it so I'm going with my aunt actually and I'm really excited um maybe we'll do like a pack with me for Paris video that would be fun okay yeah we'll do that um but yeah I really got into um, influencing, like posting on my blog, basically like a couple months after I moved back to the city from COVID. Um, I've always loved following bloggers and influencers and watching YouTube. And I always was shopping. I've always had a love for fashion. Um, 
and I feel like all my friends would always ask me for like shopping advice and want me to look for clothes for them so um and I also just kind of wanted like a side hobby like a passion project like what do they call it side hustle or whatever um apart from my day job and I love it so much it's just so fun and I'm so thankful for all the people I've been able to meet and all the opportunities I've had because of it definitely makes living in the city a lot of fun when you get to go to events and just like meet up with meet up with other influencers and bloggers so it's been great my main platform is really on instagram but i'm trying to grow youtube and i've been posting on tiktok a lot more even though tiktok is like so not my thing but i'm really trying to force myself to get more into like the video content i've always loved youtube i've just always been really nervous about like the commitment of it all because obviously i work a nine to five i'm also doing instagram and it's just like i feel like a lot of your time recording yourself obviously like on a daily basis i didn't know if i would have time for it but i'm just gonna try to do the best i can and hopefully you guys like these videos so yeah i think i'll do a lot of like hauls and like try on hauls styling videos and stuff too so it's not always like weekly vlogs but also let me know what you guys would want to see and what you guys like to watch um but honestly like my life monday through friday during the week is so boring i'm trying to get better about like going out more and doing fun things so really gonna try my best to not be so boring for you guys but reality is i'm normally in bed at like 9 30 p.m on the weeknights and I just like absolutely love staying in and watching a show and just chilling and I am such a morning person I love having like a productive fun morning and not being like hungover and tired or whatever so I think I'm transitioning into that part of my life but anyways that's just a long-winded spiel um but yeah like I said I'm gonna do a Q&A on Instagram so I'll answer some of those questions on here too but Feel free to leave a comment about anything you want to know, and I will answer that in the next video. Oh god, I almost fell. Um, but yeah, my arms are also getting really tired because I'm holding the camera up. But also bear with me as I'm using iPhone. I'm gonna try to get a real camera so I can have like better looking content to film these on, but for now it's just the iPhone. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here. So it's Thursday night. Maybe I'll do a little weekend NYC vlog. I don't really have that much many plans this weekend, so it'll be fun to take you guys along but yeah i hope you guys subscribe if you're new here and keep watching my videos check out my instagram and yeah i'll see you guys soon